jumping off the porch like mom's not home. Tell me why the best things feel so wrong. Summer nights, love them how they take so long. Run with the feeling of being alive while. Alright, I have some explaining to do. If I'm correct, the last official like vlog that I posted was filmed nearly a week ago. So if you're wondering, Josh, why is there such a big time gap? I can explain. So as you guys know, I've been having a lot of tech issues, specifically when it comes to laptops. Let me just lay you down everything that's happened. On July 13th, my laptop was stolen from me in Paris. As soon as I got back from Paris on July 22nd, I ordered a new laptop. It's the same exact one that I had had, except I bought it refurbished because I didn't have the capital or the money to buy a brand new laptop after having like $6,000 worth of gear stolen. So the expected delivery date was like July 28th. Uh, I was like, great, that works great. Um, it didn't get there on July 28th. In fact, it didn't get there until August 2nd, which I was a little bummed about because that was like a solid five or six days of making videos. I didn't have any more, but you know, I just was, I was fine with the situation. So I finally get the laptop on August 2nd. Um, it's great uh, until I realize that it isn't great because the ports on the sides don't work. The SD card slot is just completely not functional at all. And if you look at the screen, there's little white specks everywhere because there's a bunch of dead pixels. So here's what I decided. So I decided that I was going to make the most of the, the five day time limit that I had before I had to return the laptop. So during those five days, dang it's loud outside, I made every single video that you have seen in the past month. I mean some of the footage I had from Paris I just had to edit, but like all the college like freshman tips, all like the, the more Paris specific like reflection videos were all filmed during those five days and edited during those five days and uploaded during those five days and scheduled to go up. And then I sent my laptop back and I ordered a new one. So far the situation has been pretty rough, but you know, I'm optimistic. Well, I don't know why I was optimistic, because I ordered the, I mean, second laptop that I had ordered, but really third laptop on August 11th. Um, the expected delivery was August 22nd. Everything was gonna work great, because August 22nd was the day after I got to Yale, so I'd be able to get my laptop. I'd have the four or five days before classes started to start looking at internships, building my resume together, because tech internship applications are due this like entire month if I want to like if I want to get started on those if I want a good good job for the summer so I was a little stressed but uh, it, sh it, sh it should work out well it didn't obviously because the laptop did not get here on August 22nd in fact it got here yesterday and if you're wondering what yesterday's date was it was uh, Thursday September 6th Thursday September 6th that's over two weeks late um, so, yes, uh, finally, in my possession, I have a functional laptop. I am ecstatic, but I, uh, what I'm not ecstatic about is the two weeks of internship applications, class, PSETs, all the stuff that I missed that I now have to catch up on. So, uh, not excited about that, but we're ready, we're gonna get back to the grind, and we'll see what happens. So the whole reason there was such a gap in the, the time for the footage, I guess I never explained that, it was because I was filming with my camera, but I didn't have a laptop or anything to upload the footage on, and my memory card got filled up, and that was it. I, I tried to conserve the memory as much as I could, but it got filled up, it was done, and I just had to wait until I got the laptop so I could upload the footage. So if you're wondering why that's a time jump, I'm sorry. I uh, wish I could have filmed more during the past week, but today is going to be kind of the first legit vlog with this new camera, with my laptop, so it should be great. So anyways, today's a Friday, which is pretty, pretty light for my course load. I only have one class today, but it's not really even a class, it's just a section for one of my classes. You see this semester I'm taking Intro to Architecture, which is a lecture on Monday and Wednesday, but on Friday you meet with some grad students in section to discuss your weekly drawing assignments. And you're like, drawing assignments, Josh? I didn't know you could draw in the, uh, I know I can't draw at all, so uh, this today is when we're getting our first drawing assignment evaluated. I'm a little nervous, uh, so the assignment was to take a place in the literature, like a description of their room in literature, and try to translate that onto the page. Try to be creative, try to make the most of the space, and that was, that was about it. Uh, we weren't given much more guidance than that, so it was definitely a little rough, but here's what I came up with. 
So I was doing a little research on like room descriptions, like where like trying to brainstorm some of my favorite books. Uh, but it was it was a lot harder than I thought. So I ended up trying to I, I googled some online, did a little research. I ended up finding a pretty good description from the book Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde, which I read when I was younger. And it's a description of Doctor Jekyll's house. So as you guys can see here. Um, I don't have the description printed out right now, listed out some characteristics and then did a little like practice sketch. Basically I just drew the room and then started adding stuff to see like what it, I would want to do with the room. And then uh, once I kind of got the, the full layout, uh, I moved over to the final draft which is right over here. Which took me about two hours to complete, but here let me give you a little top down view. We've got, yeah, so this is, this is it. Uh, Looks pretty good, considering that I've never really drawn anything like this before in my entire life and we're given no guidance for it at all. I like it. I think uh, I didn't do a horrible job. It definitely definitely kind of suits the suits the whole Dr. Jekyll vibe with all the with all the test tubes and stuff. But anyways, I have to head to section soon to uh, go present this to the TAs. Yikes. Uh, but before I do, I actually need to print out a, uh, a copy of the passage. So Yale has a really easy printing system. It's literally as easy as clicking on the document you want. It gets in there, upload and complete. And then now you can go swipe your ID at any printer on campus and your, your page will pop up and it prints out. Easy as that. One annoying thing about living across the street is that I have to always walk over there if I want to go to the dining hall, if I want to use the printers or the computer or the library room or anything, which is kind of annoying, but hey, we have an elevator. And uh, when you're living in a bigger room, it's it's worth it. I in the still we were all of that, all of that, all of that, oh yo. Now there's no reason you call me back, call me back, call me back, no, no. If you and I are still alive, let's make it right. The architecture section was good. It was honestly kind of scary because as soon as we walked in there, we just all laid our drawings out on the floor and one by one went through each of them, talking about them, criticizing them. So a little scary for the first time, but it seemed to go well. Uh, the lighting sucks here. I'm on my way to Pearson to grab lunch with Tommy. See how it is. Take a card for him. All right, so I'm editing and I realized that I gave this clip absolutely no context at all, which, was, which is my bad. So I was walking to lunch, I was getting lunch, and uh, <clears throat> all of a sudden I saw one of my old sweet mates from last year, his name's Neil, he's on the track team, really cool dude, and uh, he was with a track recruit. And of course, he convinced me to pull out the cards and do some magic right in the middle of the street uh, to show this track recruit. Didn't have much on me at the time, but uh, thought the trick turned out pretty good, so that's why I suddenly have cards out in the middle of the street and somebody's filming me, in case you were wondering. Let's get back to the video. I don't want to see it. Okay, show the camera. All right, just like this, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna memorize your card. You gotta memorize. I'm gonna cut the deck in the middle for me. We're gonna take your card. We're gonna cut it right here, right here. We're gonna push it in just like that. Okay. Okay. Quick shuffle. All cuts to be safe. I'm gonna ask you a question. You remember what your card is, right? Yeah. Okay. Was it this card? No. Three hearts. It wasn't the three hearts. Can you hold out your hand for me? So we're gonna take the three hearts. Set it right there. I don't a quick like snap. This. What was your card, by the way? It was an Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades. Can you flip that? That's not okay. Let's show the camera. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> 